All right, give me a sound check. Okay. Sound check. Perfect. I really put my time and I work my ass off every single day. I go to the gym every single day. I'm working six hours a day, overtime. I wake up, I eat, sleep, and dream about this. And I'm gonna be the next champ out of South Philly. That's how explosive these fights are, man. These, these punches are hitting so hard, mouth guards are flying out. out. What a hell of a match! It's crazy in here! So when I was three years old, I started off at American Karate. Uh, I got a good ba a balance of... Um, karate kicks, good foundation and discipline there. As I grew older, I started boxing in Mickey Rosati's, and um, I really do rely on my hands as a boxer. I gr I've grown a lot from my first fight till now. Uh, I'm six fights in. My boxing has grown exponentially. My Muay Thai game is, uh, is just growing. I've been training with some crazy wrestlers. I'm, I'm just growing. I got a lot more heart than a lot of these fighters. I'll take it wherever. If I go to the ground, I'll bang on the ground. I love to stand up on the feet with you. I just love splitting, splitting heads open, honestly. I train in Balance Studios with Ricardo Miglarese and Phil Miglarese. These, these guys are uh, like family to me. They brought me up since I was young. Um, my jiu-jitsu game has grown so much. I feel so confident on the ground, rolling with animals like that and everybody at Balance Studios. I feel like there's nowhere I can go in the cage that I'm uncomfortable, I'm not, and I'm only getting more confident in my game. I got a lot of inspiration being from Philly. Uh, my first house is two blocks away from here. When I come back to my roots, it just makes me, I don't know, I just I want to work real hard. and. Um, I want to prove something. I want to prove it to myself, prove it to my city. I train under Mickey Rosati and Frank Stefano at Mickey Rosati's gym. They, they brought up multiple, multiple great champs out of Philadelphia. When I, when I go up to the gym, I'm learning things that everybody else isn't. I'm working on head movement, reflexes, my eye-hand coordination. I, I, I do a lot of different crazy exercises no one else is doing. Uh, Mike Tyson once said, Everybody you fight isn't your enemy, and every friend that you have isn't really your friend. Uh, as I've grown the past couple of years, I've been fighting, and uh, I, I've realized that many of my friends have dropped out that I thought were true to me, a lot of family members, and I've gained a lot of other people that I, I found that just really care about me. And um, truthfully, I'm, I'm just doing this for myself. I was doing it for a lot of different reasons before, but uh, I've grown to love this sport. I wanted to take the first fight just as a challenge to myself. And after that, it's just grown and I, I just fell in love with everything about it. I love the grind. I love the success that I have the potential to, to, to reach. I just want to be an inspiration to, to others around the city. A lot of kids look up to me. I'm, I'm finding, you know, they, they want my autograph. After every single fight, they're wearing my shirt. I see billboards of myself, posters around the city. It's just, honestly, it, feel, it feels good. I never had that feeling before. And um, I just want to grow. I just want to reach my full potential. I want to be world champ.
want to shout out my, my parents. They've been nothing but um, supportive from the start. I could have did construction, I could have been a chef, could have done anything else in this world, but I'm, I'm choosing this path, and uh, it's just the way I want to live my life. Could go a lot of easier routes, but, but I want to follow my dream. And uh, all my friends, my coaches, thank you so much, and all my sponsors. Phillips Stakes directly to behind me has been, uh, you know, everything, everything to me. They've backed me up, and uh, even my father's company, Worldwide Restoration, they, they've been everything to me as well. So many other people I want to thank. Um, there's, there's too many, honestly. But I thank you, everybody. I love you guys. Without, without you, I couldn't make my dreams come true, and I'm just looking forward to working with you guys in the future and making you guys proud. Coming to you soon, motherfuckers. <laughs>